bench right after this. Just about ready to roll. And our pitcher tonight, Michaela Butler. Base runners are tough to come by with her out there, Chris. She brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that she gets and the fact that she's not issuing free passes, that's going to make her more economical in her pitch count, allow her to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. One two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The one two. Light drive. Calls it in. And there's one away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Fastball for a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Dela Cruz settles under it. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Naylor. Hard hit, left side. Whips it to first. And that is that. Guardians go down. Back here at American Ooh, Family Ooh, Field. Ooh. Here's Jose Ramirez. Jose. The pitch. And that one a little below the knees. One and oh. That's in there. The 1 1. There's the strike at the knees. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Fights that one away. Still 1 and 2. And the right hander deals. That one down the line. He handles oh. it himself. One up, one down. So now here's the DH. David Fry. This has been a career year for him when it comes to driving in runs. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Bo Naylor at the plate now. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 1-0. And oh. Yeah, that's outside. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make her work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, she is just mowing them down. She's settling in. You've got to make her uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. Second inning here, no score. Up the middle, Pena. Throws to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Now it's the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. Butler back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Arias hitting seventh in today's lineup. And he was born in Venezuela. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Missed with a changeup, and it's one and two. And that's the strikeout looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Here's Andres Jimenez. And there's a ball. Bounced up the middle. Loves it on the dive from his knees. The throw. It's there, and that's a great play. Great reaction there to get to the baseball, secure it, and then no time to get up and throw. Throws from one knee. That's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy. Ramon Laureano at the plate now. That's ball one. Top of the third, no score. And right back to the mound. 
throws to first in time. And Laureano is retired. Guardians go down in order. Guardians fail to score. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. That clips the corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Fastball almost got him there. And that's in the dirt. Pitch misses, and a count is three and one. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Fralick makes the grab one away. Here's a speed threat, Miles Straw. That's in there, one along. The Guardians yet to pick up a hit here. In there at the knees for a strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. One down, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. And him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. She set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Two outs. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-2. Fourth inning underway, no score. Up the middle, Pena. The throw to first, and the inning is over. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. No score. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Jose Ramirez. Right through there for a strike. You know, these Guardians, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. We're in the back half of the game, and they're still searching for a base runner. She's been great out there on the mound, no doubt. But it's also been a disappointing performance at the plate to this point. And the pitch. On the ground right side. Arroyo. On to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now here is David Fry. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. And that's downstairs and outside. Wouldn't chase that time. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man aboard now with one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. Close, but called the ball. And that's ball one. That one missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, she's going to have to give in. Elevator pitches and get back into this at bat. Line drive to short and caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. That ball was smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. Hoskins handles the chance. He takes Got it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Guardians lead one. Back here in Milwaukee. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. And there's one away. Here's Ramon Laureano. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Got a bounce corner. And the count is 0-2. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. And Laureano is retired. She's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind her with another ground ball. Good execution. Quan, the next to hit, takes ball one. Fastball for a strike. 
She's been going after these hitters consistently, and as a result, she's been able to keep her pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Only yeah, two yeah, hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so oh, yeah, I don't think that one will disrupt her oh, momentum all that much. You know, she's really been on top of her game, commanding her pitches all night long. It gets down, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. And now it's Josh Naylor. First pitch, just misses. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And that is the inning. Make it six shutout innings for her out there now. And we still have no score. Back here at American Family Field. New inning getting started. Now it's Jose Ramirez. That one in the dirt. Ball one. Just missed. Well, you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you if she will. That's towards center. Dela Cruz sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's one down. Next is the designated hitter, David Fry. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. And that chance handled. Throws to first in time. Digging in, Bo Naylor. That's in there, and it's 0-1. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the second game of the series. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Still in total command on the match. And we're back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Gabriel Arias. And a good eye there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that she can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a curve is down and in. And a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Like solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. On the ground a second, might be two. Takes it to the bag, that's one. Relay to first, double play. We well, don't see 4-3 double plays all that often because it makes you as the second baseman move away from the target you're throwing to in order to get the force at second. But he looked very sure of himself on that one. Nicely done. Loriano comes up to hit. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. The next pitch misses. Yeah, the count even one and one. Two down, nobody on. Base hit, center field. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example makes the grab on the run and that is that one left for the Guardians they trail it here three nothing and welcome back to the ballpark now here is Miles Straw Butler back to work and the first pitch misses for ball one for pitch efficiency ability to get ahead and count at times pitch to contact let the defense work behind her that's why she's still in the game here in the ninth inning that misses and it's 3-0. You just don't see it that much anymore, a pitcher being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if she's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, she's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming.
pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow.